street interview again. So last week, Apple announced its 10-year anniversary iPhone, iPhone 10, and it has the Face ID. It's all glass, but it has a interesting bang over there. Um, but the price is 999. So I am very interested to know whether people in San Francisco will buy that. Uh, have you heard about iPhone 10? Yes, I have. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel indifferent about it. Uh, so, would you buy it if you have a chance? No, I won't. Why? I don't feel like adding to the consumerist agenda of Apple. Uh, recently announced the iPhone 10. Oh yes, I know that. Um, would you buy one if they're out? Uh, since the price is too expensive for me, so if I can buy it, I'd probably buy iPhone 8. Sounds exciting, but I don't know if I'll be willing to pay that kind of money for it. Oh, okay, and why? I think the features that are offered in the iPhone 8 are probably sufficient for me right now. I have a success for me, like the jump to 10 is too big. I probably would be happy with like an 8 for now. Do you like the Face ID feature? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, uh, but I think I'll wait for it to become cheaper. Apple will be releasing the iPhone 10 later this year. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not one to keep up with the technology, so I use whatever gets me by, so I'm not too bothered by it. No, not interested. <laughs> I mean, they queue like from iPhone 8 to iPhone X for what? iPhone 10, all that. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I've been like a fan of Android for a while, but like I didn't update on Apple. I'm not a really Apple fan, so I didn't really know about it. But I feel like uh, Android have more feature, like ahead of time than Apple, I guess. Uh, well, uh, for the price, because that's um, so many advanced features, face recognition, uh, no home button, uh, a large screen. So for that kind of uh, features uh, the price is good uh, so I would prefer to buy in the future when it's released uh, yeah um, no I wouldn't buy it $6,000 right uh -huh. so, so it works right here 